Hello, in our last video we looked at um, acid catalyzed alpha bromination and in this video we're going to look at, at an application of that which is uh, alpha bromination of carboxylic acids and this is also known as the HVZ reaction uh, I think that's pronounced I'm gonna guess here Hel Volhard Zelensky <laughs> okay uh, and um, I've got kind of an outline of what's going to happen and then I'll try to give you a few more uh, details. So starting here with a, a carboxylic acid and we're going to react that with Br2 with bromine and PBr, PBr3 and you're going to see we add bromine to two locations. So one uh, we're going to make an, an acyl bromide here from the carboxylic acid and we're also um, replacing a hydrogen with a bromine at this alpha carbon okay and uh, from there a, a, a couple different things could happen if we react this with um, alcohols or amines we could get um, esters okay so we could replace Br uh, with OR okay and that would make an alpha brominated ester uh, we could similarly get an alpha brominated amide okay if we used a primary or, or, or some sort of amine here okay we could also do hydrolysis with with H2O hydrolysis so we've seen at the beginning of, of, of chapter 21 how we could turn an acyl chloride in or an acid chloride into a carboxylic acid we could do the same thing with an acid bromide and that gets us to an alpha, um, alpha brominated um, carboxylic acid. And then we could take this, and if we react this with, with ammonia, NH3, oh, my purple's running dry here. That's supposed to say NH3. <laughs> and I think uh, our textbook says excess of that. Then we can, uh, replace that bromine with NH2 okay and we get an alpha amino acid here so alpha carbon so alpha amino and then it's a carboxylic acid okay so let me go into a little bit more detail about kind of what's happening here um, for some of this. <clears throat> okay. All right. So the first thing that's going to happen is we're going to make turn our carboxylic acid into an acid acid bromide all right and then uh, the rest of what's going to happen is going to follow our mechanism that we saw in the previous lecture of um, acid catalyzed alpha halogenation okay so at first we have two proton transfers that are going to tautomerize this from the uh, keto to the enol form And I'm not going to show both of those tran uh, proton transfers. You can look at the previous uh, videos if you want to see that. Okay, so there's our enol form. And then that can react with Br2. Okay, so the enol can act as a nucleophile and participate in an SN2 type reaction so that would 
be our, our elementary me mechanistic step, SN2. And that gets us And let's see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the bromine down here. Put the hydrogen up there. Okay, so now we've got this oxonium ion with a plus charge on that oxygen. All right, and then we're gonna have a final step to get us to our product, or our, yeah. And that is gonna be this bromide ion. You can pull off that hydrogen, do a deprotonation. Okay, a proton transfer. CH three C. Got an H there. We got a Br here. Our bad oxygen. Br plus uh, HBr. Okay. And that's going to conclude uh, this lecture on uh, alpha bromination of, of a carboxylic acid or the HVZ reaction. Uh, thank you for watching.